So the game plan for today is to replace a couple of corner beads, replace the putty in the front corners. If you look here, this one here, I did the back corner last year, but I'm going to do these corners in here. And the problem is a lot of people will just say, you know, silicone, you know, in there where the putty's dried out, you can you know, run silicone along there. But there's a pretty good gap there. And if you look down in here, if it's raining and the water runs down and it's going to, you know, it sinks in there, you can silicone it. But any water that gets inside of here, between here, there's, there's a little bit of play there. You could actually silicone it into the groove because you're going to, you're going to silicone along here people usually do both sides and then what you're left with is water laying in there so like any rv dealer they always comes with putty they don't silicone and that's new from the back here. i don't know if you can see up there i'm going to kind of put the camera at it there's a screw i'm going to take that screw out and then we can see what kind of shape our trailer's in so, the problem here is, if you look, the screws are clean, but they missed one right there, and as you get further down, they stop here, and there's nothing down here. So see, I'm pushing on that, that's coming away. That was done from the factory, and that has created some problems because there's nothing when, when there's nothing there to hold it together it's not going to hold together so hopefully we can just replace those screws and uh, we'll go from there so now I'm going to take the rest of this off let's uh, get a look at this here Here's what we got. Well, if you can see inside of there, the shadow might not be good. But the wood, despite it's not really showing up, but the wood is actually okay, which was surprising, even despite not having the putty. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to clean this off and uh, we're going to put the new putty on there. And I'm going to re-staple, I'm going to get my brad nailer out, and I'm going to staple the wood back on that was never done. Um, possibly they didn't do it simple because, simply because they're, um, yeah, it's probably, I know why they didn't do it. Because you're not going to put putty here. You're actually going to, on this side here, you're going to have um, just the trim. So, yeah, what we're going to do is, this has come loose, if you can see in there that's no good so we're gonna staple this back and then we're gonna re-putty it and put it back together as it stands and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some screws um, down in here that we never got before see that down in here they never screwed it so we're gonna clean that up and we're gonna do that and uh, piece her back together done is just scrape the putty off with the putty scraper and uh, you know just clean it off down there now what I'm going to do is if you look at this piece here I'm going to actually just kind of scrape the putty off inside of there and get this ready to put back on 
and get this ready to put back on. Okay, so what I want to mention is if you look right there, all the black, if you see on this trim piece here, all the black that's in here coming up here, that's where the water's been running underneath the putty, hasn't done anything. So I'm using this scraper, simple. I'm gonna clean that off. I've already started down here. So, I mean, that's pretty simple. Um, you're gonna clean that off. You're gonna get a like some sort of a wet rag. You're gonna wipe it down until it's clean. And then we're ready to go. It's ready to go back on the trailer after you apply your putty. And we'll get back to that in a minute. I've got the uh, staples, the new staples in. And they're slightly, if you look, slightly exposed so I'm going to tap them in. I'm going to go tap them all the way down and uh, then we'll be ready to put the corner bead back on. But uh, because they didn't have that corner in, water was able to get in there and um, brought it out the staple heads. Not a big deal um, as long as the new... Okay so here we are back. Uh, I apologize it's too hard for me to um, hold the camera I don't have a lot of mounts right now so to hold the camera and get everything nice nice um, I use three three things here so fantastic simple green and vinegar and water the, I started with the simple green and the fantastic and just scrubbed all the grime off and the vinegar and water is actually will eliminate the soap residue if you you know if you, sometimes you'll clean it and then if you put the putty back on but it's not necessarily you know all the soap's not off so yeah vinegar and water final rinse and uh, so there's the trailer and the bead that I'm going to be putting on and that's the corner bead so it's all clean and then we're going to place the putty in a minute and I will come back to that in two seconds and, and this is looking this is your top right I left the dirt on there on purpose at the bottom, so I knew that was the bottom. You mark it, or you can mark, you can mark it top and bottom, but it should only fit on one way. Anyway, I've, if you look here, I have the I have the putty going right to the edge. You want it you want it on this edge here. You want it on this back edge, and you just you're gonna put it back up in the same way it came off. Put the screws back. Um, when you put the screws back. You start from one end and work your way down because we replaced a roof on a tent trailer and uh, actually realized that um, I started one end and I didn't I wanted didn't want it to move on me so I put a screw in the other end and then I got it secured I started putting the screws along the top and guess what the other end didn't flex in tight it was the screw that I had in there because it was a bowed roof actually kept the roof from seating properly like sitting all the way to seating all the way down in in sealing the putty so live and learn again start at one edge uh, at least this is the way I would do it I would start at one edge work my way down and the putty will be will squeeze out as you go so I'm gonna put the trim back on uh, the, the so again uh, what I'm gonna do now I'm trying to hold this and look at the camera and see where everything is I'm going to put this trim back on the inside and it this just kind of laps over top of the top piece so this is the this is my top if you look at that right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just leave that putty there and kind of mush it in there that'll be fine and then you're going to put this one here this one's going to go like this so that's going to go right in the top there and that's it then when you push that up that's going to be your first hole and then the putty will go all the way the trim will go all the way in all the way in all the way down
There it is. Your corner beads on. This is tight. Um, you can just kind of Mac tack these into the corner. Put this in. Push this in like that. Like what I'm doing. Or I have a putty knife. I can cut it off. But I mean, when they did it at the factory, they didn't. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to putty it off and I'm going to silicone it. I'm going to put a bead of silicone in here. And that's tight. Sorry, camera, that's tight. It's solid there. And I'm solid here. And see, I don't have any play there anymore. So, yeah, I'm going to trim this up. I'm going to run a bead of silicone down there. And that should be it for that side.